All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechak with Dash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and salutation unto the Akim and unto the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. All right. Now I'm just going to get into, you know, what does clouds mean? In the scriptures, all right, what are these? What is it talking about when you see clouds, and you and you see that men have been taken up into the sky and the clouds? Are they talking about actual clouds and things like that? And through the spirit of power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, I'm gonna break it down and prove to you that it's not talking about actual clouds. All right, but let's let's see, all right, because this is uh this is Acts the first chapter dealing with Yahweh Shah when he was speaking. You know, unto his disciples. All right, and after he after he was speaking unto them, this certain thing happened. All right, just Acts one and nine. It says, and when he had spoken these things, while he beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right, so is that cloud talking about an actual cloud? Did a cloud come down and take him off of the ground? All right, into the air. Is that what they're talking about? Because if you ask anybody that doesn't have any type of understanding of the scriptures, they will tell you, yes. All right, but let's keep reading. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. That's talking about the angels. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shah, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen them go into heaven. So the same way he seen how shall leave, that's the way he gonna come back. Basically what they was telling him. Revelation 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. So this is dealing with Yahweh Shah. All right, now, in Acts, the first chapter, he was taken up in the cloud. And in Revelation 1 and 7 says he's gonna come with clouds. Now, what are these clouds talking about? I know if you don't have any type of understanding, you're confused. And you're thinking like, man, is he talking about an actual cloud? Is he going to be on the clouds that we see in our day-to-day lives? No, the, the clouds that are in the sky, is he talking about those clouds? Psalms 104 and 3. Who lay at the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who made the clouds his chariot? So when you see clouds, it's talking about the chariots of Israel, the vehicles of the heavens. What people today in this world knows as UFOs, unidentified flying objects. But us in this truth that have been awakened unto this knowledge, we know them. We know them as the chariots of Israel. All right, that's what took up Yahweh Shah from the earth, and that's what he's coming back in. Isaiah 60, verse 8. Who are these that fly as a cloud and at the doves to their windows? So it says that they fly as a cloud. Who are these that fly as a cloud? So it's letting you know that it's not a cloud, but it's flying in the sky. All right, it's in the sky just like the clouds be. So what could that be talking about if it's not a cloud? It ain't talking about no damn airplane. You know, the only thing that that's talking about, that they could be talking about, is a so-called UFO. You know, and I will prove that. All right. Jeremiah 4, verse 13. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. So it says, shall come up as clouds. All right, not a cloud. But then it, says, it goes on to say, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. Letting you know that those clouds are talking about the chariots. All right, this this is what it was talking about when it says, "Who are these that fly as a cloud?" All right, 
the house behold, he cometh with clouds. He was taken up in a cloud. This is what this is talking about. The chariots. All right. And was Yahweh Shah the only man taken up in a chariot or in a cloud? All right. Well, what the scriptures call clouds? No. This is 2 Kings 2 and 11. Dealing with Elisha and Elijah. All right. It says, and it came to pass. As they still went on and talked, they behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and the horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by whirlwind into heaven. So it says a chariot appeared. All right. Basically separated Elisha and Elijah and it took up Elijah into heaven. All right. Took him off of the ground. A beam, he, Elijah got beamed up into a chariot. It says, and Elisha saw it and cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he, he took hold of his clothes and rent them in two pieces. All right, so this is the chariot of Israel. All right, it was in the sky, it's not actual horses. All right, this is not what that's talking about. And to prove that, let's get uh, second Maccabees, I believe. Five and one, it says, About the same time, Antiochus prepared his second voyage to Egypt. And then it happened that through all the city, for, for the space almost of 40 days, there were seen horsemen running in the air. Now, what horses do you know that run in the air? That's not what they're talking about. Horses represents power. And no chariots got power in it. Guess what they're talking about? Ain't no horses running in the air, bro. This is talking about the chariots of Israel. Running in the air and clothed of gold and armed with lances like a band of soldiers and troops of horsemen in array and countering and running one against another with shaking of shields and multitude of pikes and drawing of swords and casting of darts and glittering of golden ornaments and harness of all sorts. All right, so this was describing the chariots. All right, so now you have understanding you know, what the clouds mean when it says that he coming with clouds, that he is taken up in the clouds. All right, this is what, that's, this is what the scripture is talking about. A so-called UFO. Alright, so with that, you know, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechavadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, peace and salutation to the occupant, to the elect, that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom, Akim.